Hello everyone, this is ClickFlow, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Bedrock Thrive Guide. Well, I do want to say that it is good to be back. I am excited to be back, and as you can see, there are a few changes to our inventory and to our little chest, our little storage chest in here. As you can see, we did a little bit more off-camera mining to get some uh, some more cobblestone, some more uh, redstone, and and uh, and even some more diamond. We were we were lucky enough to get that. Um, uh, I, uh, if you, uh, if you notice, uh, I did make a water bucket here, um, out of some iron that I got, and I also made this shield, which is, uh, easy enough to make just, uh, just with one, one piece of iron, um, so those are just some changes to my equipment. And as you can see, we have a few trees growing in, uh, in our little orchard that, that we've started, and we also have, uh, uh, an unwanted visitor trying to sneak up on us. These guys are what we're going to focus this episode on. Starting to put together a passive mob farm uh, in that we can we can uh, we can corral up some of these pigs and possibly some cows and sh some sheep and that way we can get a more renewable food source because these two pieces of cooked mutton are the only food that I have to my name right now, and as you can see, I'm starting to get a little hungry, so I need to go um, set up a a way that I can uh, have a more re renewable food source. I'm going to head back into our little shack and open up the crafting interface and make a few more oak planks. And then a few more sticks. And I think with that we're going to make some fences. And fences are made with this crafting recipe with oak uh, planks and some sticks. And we're going to make that and just a few more of those. And with that we're going to start putting together a little corral in which we can... Uh, keep some of these mobs and I think right over here will be a good place for them. After we deal with this creeper of course because he's going to try and ruin our day and might as well go pick up that gunpowder while we're at it. Alrighty I'm going to move this sapling out of here because I think this is going to be the site of our new corral. This isn't this isn't going to be anything too special, just kind of throwing down. Let's see if we can encourage this pig of ours. Oh, looks like he's going to go over there. Well, not to worry. I think we can we can fix that. One of the things that's going to help us uh, a lot in uh, getting and corralling these mobs and putting them into their cage is number one going to be a way to lure them and then another way to transfer them. And there are a couple ways to do that. Number one is going to be with some food. So uh, first off, before we can do any of that, we do need to make ourselves a hoe because what makes... Uh, what makes... What attracts a lot of these uh, mobs is uh, wheat. Uh, wheat or grains is what they like to eat. So we're going to start a little farm, probably just over here, um, where we can grow some wheat. If you plant some of these wheat seeds right there, then, uh, then they will eventually grow up into, um, into wheat. And this will be another use for our bucket that was the, the that we made. We're gonna put that there, and that will hydrate this this farmland, and that will help it grow faster. But uh, in the in the meantime, while that uh, while that wheat is is uh, still growing and maturing, there's another easy way to transport mobs, at least on the on the bedrock edition, and that is made by uh, making what's called a boat. To make a boat, first thing we need to make is a shovel, and it, it, it can be a wooden shovel, so I'm just going to do that. It's just two sticks and then a wood plank like that, and that, make, and that gives us a wooden shovel. 
and then we're going to put uh, oak planks in this U shape with the shovel in it and that makes us a boat. Now a boat can be used for a lot of different things, namely uh, uh, boating around in the ocean and stuff like that, but it can also be used for transporting mobs because if you place a boat down and a mob walks into it, just like that it'll get trapped and that will uh, get it stuck and then we can transport it into our little thing by also right clicking and getting into the um, and then rowing it over there. It does look like unfortunately that pig that we caught did uh, did despawn as we were down in the mines uh, waiting out the night. So I think I'm gonna pick that up by just punching it a few times. And I think we're I'm gonna head over uh, and see if that wheat that that we were growing has finished uh, maturing all the way. And it looks like at least some of it has. You can see that there are different stages to the growth of wheat. Um, but if we uh, move some things out of our hand and we punch this wheat, it's going to drop one wheat and a couple seeds, and we can use that those seeds to replant that. And I'm even gonna go grab that hoe and plant up these other seeds so that we can get more more wheat growing. Alrighty, now that we've got a little bit of wheat and we've got a boat, I think I'm gonna go run around and explore these other couple islands over here and see if we can't find ourselves some more passive mobs like cows or pigs or sheep. And there's a number of reasons that we might want to have some uh, some sheep and cows and pigs. Number one is going to be for food, of course. Uh, all the types of mobs like chickens and and pigs and cows and sheep, they're all going to drop uh, some sort of food item that, that, that we can that we can eat and consume. But they're also going to drop other useful items like we saw in the last episode. There was a sheep that, that dropped wool, and we can use wool for uh, for building and for making beds, which is going to be super important for us. So that is definitely going to be useful. Oh, look at that. There's a chicken over here. I'm going to run over and grab that chicken if he will stop moving. Boom, just like that. And then I can also ride into this boat just like this. And then now we're off on our very merry way. <laughs> you can see me and my my chicken here. Chickens are going to be very useful for us because not only will they provide chicken breasts and meat for us, uh, food, but they will also lay eggs and drop eggs and, and uh, you can use those eggs to hatch more chickens. So um, even with just one chicken like we have, we can, uh, we can still breed them up and get multiple chickens, uh, get a constant farm. And of course chickens, chickens are going, are going to be attracted to seeds, not necessarily wheat. It wouldn't make much sense for a chicken to be attracted to wheat. But the seeds are something that chickens like. So I'm going to hurry and grab that boat so we can use it in the future. And then I'm going to lure this chicken away over to First, I have to get this last piece of fence. Can't forget that. Where did that chicken go? Is he still over here? He is still over here. Hello, chicken. Come on, chicken. Come on. There you go. You can see he's very interested in the wheat that I'm holding in my hands. I'm going to lure him over here. Come on, chicken. Come here. Come here, chicken. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. And then now I'm going to quickly move my wheat out of my hands and then block him in. You can see he's keen on getting out of there. But now our chicken is in there and he will not despawn because he is now corralled by a fence and the game can detect that. This guy right here just joined us. He's called the Wandering Trader, and he um, every every once in a while will spawn and will offer you some trades. You can access him in the in the trading interface. We don't have any money, any emeralds to trade him with, so I have no use for him. But his animals here will drop us some very useful things. So I think I'm gonna 
I'm going to take them out. And you can see they dropped some very useful things. They dropped, first of all, some leather. We can use that for making books, which is going to be good for making bookshelves later when we get into enchanting. And they dropped leads, which is something uh, very, very useful this uh, this early in the game, especially for uh, for what we want to do as well. So let's, so another pig uh, just spawned right here. If we can nudge him into that uh, that uh, boat. Uh, one of the features on Bedrock Edition is that when there's a mob inside of a boat, you can actually attach leads to the boat, and then you can drag it around wherever you want it to go. And that's going to be super helpful for us because uh, we can get up to two mobs at a time inside of these boats, and then we can transfer them like that. Well, I'm going to leave this pig here really quick, and I'm going to hurry and take down some, of, some more of these trees and make some more corrals for my animals here. Also, one of the things that I forgot to mention last episode when we came down here, I, I didn't mention it because I was planning on finding diamonds in a, in a future episode, but since we already found them, then there was no really need to make another episode about it. Now, of, of course, at, starting at Y level 40 on down to, uh, to the bedrock floor, uh, will we'll spawn, we'll spawn diamond naturally. But it's not going to be very feasible or very realistic for us to mine out the entire uh, the entire world underneath Y level 40. You know, it's it's just not feasible for us for our tools and for our resources. So we uh, so so we just want to mine out a small area and also have the maximum amount of chance to find that 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 precious diamond and so that's going to be at Y level 12 so that's why we're down here mining at this level and look at that we got our first egg from this chicken now I'm not going to save that I you can see I'm kinda hungry and my health is a little low oops looks like we didn't get any any chickens out of that and unfortunately my attempt to make the pig that we just caught to not despawn did not work yet again so I'm gonna tear down this thing. I'm thinking we might want to make this pen kind of small while this pen we can make kind of big and I'm, th I'm thinking we want one for chickens, one for cows, and then maybe one for sheep or pigs or something like that. Um, cows definitely are going to be ideal uh, because in addition to dropping food, they will also drop uh, leather, which is, uh, which is going to be helpful for us in the future. So hopefully this chicken will continue laying eggs. And in the meantime, I think I'm going to go and find me some more, some more animals to corral. Doesn't look like there are any animals on the secondary island that we found before. Let me quickly make a little sweep around up here, see if we can't find anything. But not to worry, we just can need to go a little bit farther afield. We can even go grab that sugar cane, which is over off in that direction. Oh, and looks like we found another pig. Hopefully this guy will stick around and we won't have to worry about it worry about him despawning. Now that is going to be fun to explore. One of the things that I forgot to mention is that with, with, with passive moms uh, such as this pig here, we can also right click that pig to put the lead on that pig and now if we drag it the pig will follow us which is great. We want to get this pig inside of here, just like that. Nope, stay in here, piggy. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Come in here. 
Very good. You stupid pig. It's trying really hard to get out of here. Well, let's see if we can't get out of here and then block it off before it tries to pathfind out. He really wants to get out of here. But now that shouldn't despawn, and we should have at least one pig and one chicken. But I'm going to continue to try and get a few more of these passive mobs. Now we're going to hold the wheat seeds in our hand and come in here. And now both of these chickens... Oh my goodness! Come on, chickens. Why are you so dumb? Really? Come here. Come here. You can do it. No! You stupid chickens! Pathfinding in this game really is a bug. Let's try and shove these chickens... No! Come on. Come on. You stupid chickens. This guy is a menace. He's trying to get himself killed. So I'm just going to do this the lazy way and attach him to a <laughs> to a boat and a lead. And I'm going to bring him over like this and then I'm going to... Come on, chicken. Get in the hole. Come on. Come on, buddy. There you are. And now as the sun sets, now we have two chickens. Thankfully, that looks horrible. I'll make sure to clean that up in the morning, but I'm going to hide from the scary moblins. Alrighty, well, with a bit more finagling and wrangling, I got together a uh, few more animals. And you can see we have a couple of sheep here, a couple of cows, a couple of pigs, and a couple of chickens. And so I think we're going to go through and show you guys how to breed each of these different animals so that we can get renewable food and uh, other resources that, that these animals drop. So uh, er earlier as we were wrangling these guys up, we, we, uh, we used wheat and seeds to lure them here except for the pigs the pigs are lured by carrots they're attracted to carrots and we don't have any of those at the moment so we'll have to we'll have to wait until that comes but with their uh with the animals respective luring uh plant you can feed those to the animals so they enter love mode and therefore if uh they start to breed up and make baby animals so if we if we right click on the chicken it will, uh, you'll see the, the hearts start to start to pop up above it and that that is indicating that it's entered love mode and if we uh, right click the other chicken then you see those will start interacting with each other and look at that a cute little baby chicken and there's our, our first little baby animal and we can do the same thing with the with the other animals with the pigs like I said of course we would need carrots to do that and we don't have any carrots with us so we're gonna have to wait on those pigs but with these cows, we can right-click those couple of cows, and then they enter love mode, and look, we got a little baby cat! Oh boy! And the same with the sheep. And look at that, we have a little baby sheep. Now, I think the last thing I'm going to do as we, uh, as we come up on on as nighttime comes up I'm going to take two pieces of iron and put them like this to make some shears and then I'm going to go out and right click one of these sheep and gather up some wool and that way it doesn't kill the sheep but that we can get renewable wool and now with that I'm going to run back in our little shack uh, first I gotta grab a couple more pieces of wool like that and then I'm going to make us a bed. 
and I'm gonna just throw this one out right here right now because we can sleep in it and that will skip the night and then now we don't have to worry about any baddies because they didn't have a chance to spawn and now and I uh, and now as you can see up in the upper left hand corner our respawn point has set and oh man it feels good to have a bed I think that's gonna do it for today's episode of the Minecraft Bedrock Thrive Guide. Um, as you can see in my inventory, I'm starting to get kind of full and uh, I'm kind of sick of living in a little shack. So I think next episode we're going to work on uh, upgrading our little shack into a nice livable home and then getting, uh, getting some more storage set up so that I don't have to keep juggling with my inventory. But I think that'll do it. If you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if, if you want to see more content. Thanks for, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.